Welcome to chrislenford.co.uk. We're looking at podcasts and this uh, episode is about solving some of the problems you may have with your podcast. Uh, there's a few places where things can go wrong so hopefully we'll cover uh, most of the basics. The first thing people might have trouble with is the icon used in your podcast for um, to display the identity. So this is the one I'm using for this podcast um, and you just need to make sure you've got it in the right file type and the right size. The best way to have your icon is to have the canvas size or the size of the picture to be 400 pixels square. So iTunes icons are square and 400 pixels allows it to enlarge uh, to a reasonable size uh, when you click on it. They also only allow two file types uh, to be uh, used for these pictures and these are either to be a JPEG which I use because you can use uh, full color up to 16.7 million colors or you can have a PNG file uh, which can be 8-bit or 24-bit and in Photoshop you can just do that by going to save for web and choosing uh, the file type uh, that you want for it so you can either choose uh, a ping or a JPEG and just work through it uh, from there. So the other thing you need to do is to make sure that the file name on your uh, illustration uh, doesn't have any spaces in it uh, and contains .jpg for JPEG or .png uh, for PNG file. Once you've done that you can just upload it to your server and it should work uh, for that. If you don't make it square often iTunes will distort your image until it becomes uh, square. The next trouble people have is that um, you might not, you put up a new video or a new mp3 audio file or uh, a PDF and it's not working very well or doesn't load or doesn't download or comes up with an error. The thing you need to consider when you're making uh, a file is you shouldn't have any file, any spaces in between the letters. So here I've got uh, what I call a bad file name. Uh, so it's got spaces between it. Uh, so if you need a space, what I tend to do is to just put in an underscore uh, in that uh, place and it gives it a little bit of space between it. Uh, you can only use a certain number of file formats uh, on podcasts on iTunes. Apple do like their propriety formats, so I, for videos I use an MPEG-4V, uh, which is Apple's MPEG-4 format. You can use MPEG-4, uh, which is just uh, MP4. Uh, suffix at the end of it, so if you save the file as an MPEG-4, you put that. Uh, if you're doing audio, you can use MP MP3, so it'd have an MP3 file uh, tag at the end, or you can do an MPEG-4 audio, which is uh, M4A. If you're doing a PDF, it should be a .PDF. So the other problem people have is with their uh, XML code. Uh, and one problem you might have if you've been using uh, my XML code is that if you've copied and pasted all the text down uh, to the bottom of here uh, for my site, I do say you've got to put in the greater and lesser than symbols uh, on the first line of your code. So make sure that's put in. Uh, you should also make sure that there's nothing before that on the page. Uh, so there's no notes or something before that. Otherwise, uh, iTunes won't be able to read the XML file uh, very well because that piece of information tells the computer it is an XML file so it's quite important to have at the beginning. The other things you need to do is to make sure as you're going down uh, the files, if we load up our code, as you're moving down make sure there's no rogue spaces anywhere. So if you've got a little bit of a space somewhere that where there shouldn't be one that can cause trouble with your code really difficult to spot some of these so you really have to go through quite carefully uh, with all your uh, coding. So the other thing people tend to have trouble with is that when they uh, do an episode, so we've got an episode here, and they forget to put HTTP onto their, uh, their source of where the um, file is kept or and tend to just do the www uh, URL for it. So remember to put HTTP and make sure there's no space at the end of the lines either. It's very easy to add an extra space. The other thing is you come along and you discover that there's something wrong with the type uh, on your page and you need to uh, change it. 
so you want to um, make a change it might be that the content you've decided to refine the word in to make it more easy or you've done what I've done here and made a simple spelling mistake and all you do then is just simply change it and then save and update your file the other problem people do is one they forget to save it two they forget to push it onto their server so the last thing you need to do is to go into your uh, FTP software uh, and load that up I'll just wait for that to load up in, in a minute and then all you have to do is then drag the file over to your FTP site in exactly the same place where it is originally kept so if we open up uh, this site so here so I've got my public folder and I go down to where I keep my FTP and the iTunes XML file is stored there so I just need to drag that across and make sure that it is updated uh, from there. Um, if you by accident in your FTP move a file to somewhere else, so you drag a file out of here into another folder, again iTunes will lose that information, it won't be able to look for it. iTunes browser is basically a browser so it looks at where the file is and where it should be. So once you've got a location for everything, try to keep that location there, don't move it and everything should work from there. So hopefully that solves a lot of the problems that you might have with your uh, iTunes podcast. Um, if you need any more information, you can contact me at chrislinford.co.uk. You can find this video uh, on my website, uh, on YouTube or on iTunes.